Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. The title for today's video is, Is LinkedIn Learning Worth It? Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts after the break. Hi everyone, this video has been three to four weeks in the making. If you're not subscribed already, In preparation for this video, I subscribe to LinkedIn Learning. And if you look at the top, here's my uh, LinkedIn profile. You can see at the top right, there's a button there for LinkedIn Learning. I'm gonna click on that. But before I click on that, I just want to show you the settings are here. And the reason I'm going into settings and manage, uh, I just want to manage my account and show you how much LinkedIn Learning costs in the UK. So here's my settings page for LinkedIn Learning Premium five credits available in mail as part of the premium package. I've signed up for a 30 day trial. I suggest that you sign up for a 30 day trial as well. Once I've gone out of the 30 day period, it's gonna cost me 24 pounds and 98 pence per month. Uh, this video is a review of the courses that I've taken, my overall thoughts on the platform, and then a recommendation at the end as to whether I think you should use LinkedIn Learning and continue with it. Okay, so it's twenty four ninety eight. I'll put on screen now the equivalent price in US dollars, and you can use either of those two figures, the UK figure in pounds or the US figure in dollars to make an approximation for how much that would be in your country if you're outside of those two countries. Okay, let's have a look at the courses that I've studied. Let's go over to my learning. Looking into my learning. These are, I want to show you five courses that I've already completed as part of my preparation for this video. So these are the five courses that I've completed on YouTube. And you can see the course instructors as well, their names there, making video, sell yourself, own your own, improve presentations and executive presence, winning back lost customer, Jody Glickman on pinching yourself. So those are the courses that I've, I've uh, completed. And the courses are completed at a high production level values. So you, there are all the videos are very watchable. Uh, you've got an opportunity to uh, watch them, obviously on demand, and they're well produced. All of the courses that I've uh, studied are well produced. Now I want to list some some of the core, some of the things that I've found in terms of features that lead to good benefits for your learning experience. The first of those is that when you've completed your course, uh, you, you'll get a certificate of completion and they look like this. So here's one for advertising on YouTube, another for making video, sell yourself, making video three, sell yourself. And that's the course that I was just highlighting own your own voice, etc., etc. So those are the certificates of completion. That gives you a reminder of the course that you studied for. You can also upload that, uh, make a note of that on your LinkedIn profile. For those people who are looking for jobs or, or reskilling, upskilling, it's relevant for them to add to their profile. For me, I've been studying these courses really as a, a purpose of doing research for this video. So I'm not, I've not added those to my profile, but it's an option that's freely available and one that you should take advantage of if you're retraining or if you're looking for a job. Okay. Uh, another feature. Let's go back. Another feature that's good for, uh, your learning experience is to you set a weekly study goal. On the left of this screen, you can see my study goal. I've been able to set a study goal of 120 minutes per week, and you should set an appropriate study goal for yourselves and given your learning objectives. Uh, last week, 254 minutes. So the fact that you can focus your learning on the amount of time that you have available is very good. It's a very good feature. And the benefit of that is you will have uh, the ability to drive through your courses and finish your uh, allotted or targeted study time whereas if you just go into a course and you're not really held accountable then you perhaps will lose interest or you might find that work tasks rather than study tasks take over so that's something that's very good and uh, following on from your ability to set study goals you will receive weekly uh, achievement emails for, uh, just summarizing the uh, your tasks that you've completed on LinkedIn Learning. So for me, that would be completion of courses or an amounts of uh, amount of time elapsed in terms of studying. So that's also another key benefit. 
something else I found very interesting was the fact that once you've studied courses or if you're looking for new courses you can get recommendations and here, here I, here's a, a good demonstration of that people within your network have studied courses and recommend them then they become uh, uh, you know in your feed so it's uh, possible for me to study courses that other people my connections have already studied and recommended I think that's very important as well and it's a, a good feature and benefit of that is you can learn the same as some of your contacts let's go back to my learning I now have three courses in progress and five completed and I want to just leave it on this page for uh, to give you my overview of the platform I think LinkedIn learning represents tremendous value it's uh, 24 in the UK it's 24 pounds 98 as I mentioned earlier and that's less than one pound per day to continue your professional development you need to focus on what what you want to learn uh, for me I, I looked at it, quite a few courses around video editing different video editing softwares obviously I'm familiar with some but not with others so learning DaVinci Resolve 16 for example is an example is a, a good demonstration of that you keep, find out uh, identify what you want to learn and then look on learn LinkedIn learning uh, to find the course that matches your needs and then study uh, set yourself study goals uh, achievable study goals given your work uh, responsibilities and from that point you'll be able to study and move through LinkedIn learning and get the most out of the resources. I'm surprised that LinkedIn hasn't made more of a push or more of a, a promotion of LinkedIn learning because it does seem to be very good value. The course is all, as I said earlier, high production values and there are benefits of studying those courses. You just make sure you pick the right courses for you and your career. Hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching all the way through. If you've not subscribed already, If you've enjoyed this video, give me a like, click on one of the two screenshots to watch another video. I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.